Never mind. I think we're good. I think we're good. This guy. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, God. We won it. But the guy was stuck in the axe. Is he dead? He is indeed dead. Oh, man. I wish we could have fought a little bit more with that guy. What's going on, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to Tabs. Today, we're starting off with another viewer request, and then we're going to get, obviously, back onto the campaign. This one is an actual battle, which is what I was hoping for. Uh, there's not too many units in the game yet, so I know it's kind of hard to do, like, orc battles and Lord of the Rings battles, things like that. But we do have the Shire versus Gondor. Now, it doesn't really make sense, but maybe they had a little altercation later on or something. I have no idea. Uh, but yes, Yov has asked me for 30 halflings as the hobbits, uh, which we got over here. And what's going on with your neck, dude? It's like, you don't, you don't even got one, man. I don't even think you got a mouth at that point, goddamn. But yes, we have the hobbits, and being that they are hobbits, they are not in formation or anything. I pretty much put them all by food, because that's what they like to do. And they asked for two wheelbarrows as well, so we got two of those for the um, tucks. I think they mean, like, peregrine tuck. Uh, and his brother, uh, so I guess, yeah, th that seems like something they would do. And of course, we have one potion seller as the saddest looking Gandalf I've ever seen, but, uh, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. Potions, magic, you know, same idea. Now, they asked to have ten knights and one king. That is a huge army. Knights and kings are a really big units in this. So actually, let's just reset this just to see the, the money score here. Uh, they are about the same right now with these units. So I thought we would try with this first, because I honestly don't think the Shire is going to do very well. But the Hobbits, we, everybody always underestimates the Hobbits. So maybe, just maybe, I mean, man, they just actually got hit really good there. They have a lot of HP, though. So with that hit... Yeah, you can see nobody has died. <laughs> the king just took a rock to the back. Oh, he doesn't like that at all. Looks like the wheelbarrow's amazingly still flying as well. This might be surprising. Oh, that's actually one night down. Okay. Man, it'll ri be surprised if this actually happens. The hobbits are coming in for the attack at the end. Oh, man, I really hope these guys win because that would be absolutely amazing. And that's a really strong unit. Now, the hobbits, they have a problem. They are stuck on this hay bale here, or wheelbarrow, rather. So, oh, I think we actually... Holy crap. Uh, we just got the king left, and that is a lot of units. The king's a very strong individual, but that is a lot of units, man. I think... We might actually have to try with the 10. Uh, or at least maybe a little bit more. Yes, they <laughs> actually took him down. I honestly, considering we actually had a formation and everything, I thought with just the amount of power around this guy, they would have a major problem. But clearly not. So you know what? Let's up it to six knights and a king. 6,800 to 4,000. I mean, I got to assume. We had a really lucky wheelbarrow run there. So let's see, wheelbarrow already broke, as you can see that time. That was too many units for it to deal with. But they are keeping busy once again, and the hobbits have already invaded myself, the knight. Yeah, that knight is not having a good day with that hobbit orgy going on here. Jesus Christ, dude. He's trying. This time, as you can see, though, the knights are doing much better. I don't even think there's any hobbits left. Potion seller Gandalf over here, trying his best but not enough to take out the rest of these guys. Did we have any of the knights die that time? So you can see how how much these fights change. It's absolutely hilarious. Mind you, we did add a lot of firepower to the knight side, or Gondor side, I should say. Surprise, surprise, on an even playing field, at least in terms of money, uh, the, Sh the Shire won, as I wanted them to. All right, so keep those viewer requests coming in. We're getting back to the campaign, though, and it looks like we're drawing once again. A Scythe of Scythes. Jesus Christ, my God, is this like dad joke the game? Uh, well, it is a scythe of scythes, so I guess let's make um, a little wing. There we go. Look at that. A Valkyrie of Valkyries. Here we go. All right. I do love a good Valkyrie as well. I'm hoping they're fast enough to avoid those disastrous scythes. Man, I have not had a good track record with the Valkyries at all. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out where this unit is useful. It's obviously really fast. It does fly as well, which is useful, but... 
Not in this regard. Total failure there. You know what? We haven't seen Jarl much. And Jarl is a badass unit. So we're going to throw a few of those on. Let's throw some Berserkers in the front of that too. Just have basically a Viking army here. Why not? Should have threw some Brawlers in there as well. Ah, oh, there we go. I love that jump that they got going on now. They're going to be occupied. And by surprise, the giant Jarls are coming in. Those Scythes are actually bigger weapons than the Jarl's giant axe, though. Jesus, man. The Scythe, I've said it many times before, this is probably one of the best units in the game in terms of price. And uh, as you can see, well, actually, the Jarls, they're holding out. Never mind. Spoke too soon. Jarls came back. Uh, but she is a really good unit, to be fair. And the Vikings indeed want it. Okay, what the hell is this? Uh, what? What? How, that's that's illegal. That that's illegal placement right there. Ha honoring their champion. Oh, okay. So this must be their champion here. But what the hell? You're not supposed to be able to uh, put your units on my side. Well, if you could do BS strategies, I'm gonna do BS strategies. That probably is going to fall, isn't it? Well, we can hope that it stays up there and it wins the battle for us. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put a catapult there. Obviously, we're gonna have to have a battle here, so let's just put a bunch of squires. They're rather cheap units, so that's always good. Uh, what else? You know what? We'll throw some priests in the mix. Actually, oh crap, looks like we're out of money. All right, there we go. We'll throw a couple priests in there for good luck, and let's let her go. Big question. What are you doing? What the hell was that? All right, it doesn't look like the catapult's going to be able to turn, so my strategy has totally failed us. Whoa! What the hell was that aim hack there? <laughs> okay, strategy's working. Never mind. Clearly, we got an aim bot or something on that thing. And would you look at that? Oh, that was beautiful, Mr. Catapult. Thank you so much for that win. Let's get a little sit rep on the situation because we weren't watching much of the fight. You can see those priests doing their job. This, I thought that priest was much smaller. Is this an optical illusion or something? Because that priest looks... I mean, obviously, this guy's up in the air a little bit, but that guy is really short. What is going on with the whole shortness? I had a small head before. Now that guy looks ri I swear. I mean, maybe he's the same size. It could be an optical illusion. Who knows? Odds against you. Well, I mean, I mean yeah, that makes sense. I got two guys I got to deal with, and I have 100 bucks to my name. So not many choices when it comes to this. You can't actually buy two units with 100. I know that because the cheapest unit is 60. So I'm thinking Shield Bearer actually might do well here. If we can kill one quickly, we can definitely get the other one down. So get him. Keep pushing him. Okay. I don't even know how I died there. God damn it. You know who's always been good for me? The Farmer. He is legit, man. He's just got that side attack that's really... Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about things now. I mean, my options are running out now, so we just probably gotta get more lucky than anything else. Yep, no, the Sarissa never works unless there's a shield in front of it. Shield bearer, you know what, let's try it again. I feel like you're really the answer. You just gotta get lucky with that hit. There we go, the other guy fell. God damn it, dude. There we go, got him. Damn it, dude! Come on, farmer, don't fail me now, buddy. Jesus, I'm just getting destroyed. I can't choose anything else. I've tried everything at this point. Shield bearer, I feel like you're the one, man. What are you doing? What the frig was that, shield bearer? Okay, wait. Let's let's not get too mad at him. You never know. Jesus, what is? Ah, oh, goddamn it. Look at look at how little my guy is. You know what? This this might be in my favor. Why is he so small? So there's gotta be like a size different on each character. Come on, little dude. <laughs> I'm so confused though. I'm not crazy though. The sizes are definitely different. Oh, there's one. Block it. Come on, buddy. Yes, there we go. That's the squire I needed. Okay, so it just took a lot of tries, but we finally had a squire that was, you know, actually taller than these guys. So that's all I needed. Oh my god, here we go again with this stuff? Seriously? Okay, uh, what do I got? A hundred to work with here. You know what, Squire? You did good before. If you can get in between that spear like that, we actually might be able to do it. And that's what I'm talking about. Let's keep the momentum going. Okay, now we're into a real war. What's this? Pass the bridge. Okay, I can do that. You know what? What, what, what would be a good idea here? Minotaur. Definitely Minotaur. We have not had enough Minotaurs in our life, so let's get that going. And probably one of my favorite units. Where is it? The Ice Archer is always great as well. So we'll throw those on the side. Keep it out of the Minotaur range. And why are you guys not charging? You really got to charge, Minotaurs, or you're going to get absolutely destroyed. Ice Archer's doing their job, at least. I think the Minotaurs... I swear they charge. I think it's after they get enraged or something, though. 
All right, well, I didn't pass the bridge. That's that's clear. But they passed the bridge. Maybe I can kill them all at least. There we go. Keep grabbing them, man. Minotaur 1 dead. Great. What 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 the hell is left? Nothing. We're dead. Uh, I feel I feel like the catapults might do well here. Oh, yes. Now we just got to reload. Come on, please tell me it's not like an hour to reload cuz we got this if we can stack them. All right, take your sweet time. Yes! Problem is, we got a king. He's got a lot of HP. Yeah, I, th I think one catapult is definitely a good strategy. Three. Yeah. Well, wait. Oh, man. No, the king, he just took that to the face and was totally fine with it. All right, here we go. Bam. That was a lot of units. Scarecrow's killing the rest of them. Potion salesman, don't die on me, buddy. I, I, need, I need you alive. Oh, this ain't good. This ain't good. There we go. I need you to hit the king, catapult. Please hit the king. Yes! Well, that didn't really hit him at all. Oh, man. This is going to be really hard, I think. Uh, yep. We're dead because that thing's going to get one hit. So, bad strategy there. Ain't no party like a Zeus party. Here we go, man. <laughs> Dude. Zeus is on another level when it comes to dealing with multiple units. I don't think it's going to kill the king, though. And I think Zeus is going to die here, man. There's one gone. Oh, come on, man. I think one Zeus... Definitely needed. This is gonna be a close battle. The battle of the king and the god. But god damn it, man. The king's got so much HP. Okay, we definitely only need one Zeus bro. So let's get archers. Archers for days. That should keep the king busy. As long as we get rid of the shield bearers, the archers are going to be MVP here. So Zeus should hopefully be able to deal with them. Zeus is not connecting any of these hits. Come on, Zeus. There we go. What is going on with those shields? Uh, there we go, though. Now we got the king. And the king is going to take a few arrows to the knee, but you can see the archers can deal out some serious damage output if there's no shields involved. There we go. We took him down with a few arrows to the knee, as well as every other part of his body, basically. This squire, he is the chosen... What the hell? I just realized these are all priests. He is clearly the chosen one. This is going to be a heal war, I think. You know what? I'm going to have a chosen one as well. Um, I'm gonna have a halfling though, because that's that's the way I do. Uh, <laughs> this is so weird. Clearly, I'm not gonna win it. He's got more money than me, but you know what? I just want to see this fight. This is this is the fight of the century right here. <laughs> Damn it! Seriously. And now they're just gonna heal each other until they die. All right, let's get an actual strategy here. Sarissa's hoplites, or sorry, shield bearers. Always a good strategy. Let's get those shield bearers all the way across. And let's use strength and defense here, why don't we? Okay, well, they have one good man. I have many good men. Hopefully, anyways. There we go. Really wish you guys would stay in formation, because that would be really useful. But I gotta say, this might work. This will definitely work, I think. Is he dead? Is, is the main guy dead? Most shield bearers are now dead, but we have a few good spearmen just keeping the ball away from them. We have one more shield bearer. Never mind. He's dead. And the priests are down. And that formation, man, it's always MVP. We got it once again. All right. Heavy swings. Heavy swings indeed. All the heavy hitters here. This will be fun. So, um, being that they have no shields and all offense, you know we want to go for range defense probably. All right. Here we go. The big swingers against the stoners. Who's going to win? Ooh, this ain't looking good for you guys, man. We already got a lot of them down, man. Those those balls, man, they seem to have a lot of damage behind them. I mean, obviously, they're big freaking boulders they're throwing. All right, just got to get two big guys down. They're going to get a, a million balls to the face. Never mind, three. They didn't realize this guy was still up. Okay, this is not looking good now. We got... What? Oh, actually, did the king just go down? Never mind. I think we're good. I think we're good. This guy... <laughs> Look at this. Oh, God, we won it. But the guy was still... In the X. Is he dead? He is indeed dead. Oh, man. I wish we could have fought a little bit more with that guy just stuck in there because that's hilarious. Are right, we doing another one of these weird ass battles? Final Destination Squire. What the hell? Okay. I, I don't get this. There's so many battles on this stupid bridge. All right. This time, let's do a farmer, I guess. Final Destination Squire. Meet Farmer Bro. Damn it. All right. I think we're just going to have to have a Squire battle. It seems to be the best. You know, unit for this, and there we go. We got the lucky first hit. That one's over with. What the hell is this? Bravely run away. Bravely run away away. Okay. Um, the frig is the point of this fight? 
Are you guys trying? I feel, feel like I'm gonna be tricked or something. We got 500 to deal with. Okay, this is just a murdering spree, basically. I, wait, I just died? Oh no, okay, I just stumbled over my, the, the dead body. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is part of the campaign, guys. What the? Oh, you didn't have to do two axes, man. Okay, I thought that guy was a goner. I think we actually got it then. Because these guys didn't lure me to death. Thank you, Vikings, for not being totally dumb. That was actually really fun. Holy crap, a few catapults? That's more than a few. Well, I guess, I mean, a few could be anything, but that's a lot of freaking catapults, man. All right, so we know, first of all, speed's going to be key, and spreading out is going to be key. I'm thinking Valkyries actually might do really well with this, because they're really speedy. So let's do a little bit of that, and we'll just have a few good halflings there for... For good measure here. Oh, they're not actually that fast without their charge. But they do fly, so they're probably rather hard to hit. There we go. We got them going down. Start attacking them. And yes, Valkyries, I found what you're good at. Dealing with catapults. Okay, there we go. And yes, they got absolutely destroyed. Sneaky tribe. Where is the sneaky tribe? Where the frig is the sneak? Is there a cave in here or something? There's got to be a cave in there, right? There's something in there. That's gotta be, I don't see them anywhere else. So I have no idea what I'm fighting. It's a sneaky old tribe though. So it's probably like clubs or something. I'm assuming we got 5,500 though. Jesus Christ. Um, well, what should I put against an enemy I don't see? I don't even, are, are they gonna come out? Okay, there is an actual, holy crap. What the hell is this place? I mean, I, I know there's a fight going on, but I'm a little interested by this little secret that we found. There's like little cats in here. Hold on. All right, let's go see how we're doing. Um, not looking good. Not looking good. Jarl's here at least. Hopefully that goes well. I'm gonna go back to the cat sanctuary. What the frig is this place? All right, well, I found the secret cave at least. Jarl, can you take him down, buddy? Oh, this is not good. Oh, there he goes. Smack him. Smack him, Jarl. You got this, buddy. There's only a couple left. I, th I think Jarl actually has it. I mean, he can't really swing his axe in here. It's a, it's a small area, but we are victorious. Okay, now I can actually go and appreciate this place. So what the frick? I know there's going to be a lot of secrets in this game. There always is in landfall games. There's obviously like some witch doctor place here with just a bunch of... I don't know if they're cats or what they are. I like it, though. Now I want to explore all the other maps because I didn't think there would ever be a cave or anything. Ah, oh, God, the light. Jesus Christ, here we go again. What is... Okay, clearly I haven't watched Final Destination in a long time because uh, I don't know what this is referring to. We got 200 at least now, so we can try different units, thank God. Um, I still don't don't get this whole thing. I was actually going to pick the Hoplite, but they did as well, so I feel like a Stone Thrower might actually be kind of fun here. So let's see if we can knock them off. <laughs> well, that was easy. All right, moving on. Absolutely not an ambush. Absolutely not. Wait, where are they? Well, let me just... See, the problem is, I, it's obviously going to be an ambush, but where the frig are they? It's got to be in there or something, man. I have no idea. All right, we got 4,000, though, so... Okay, because I have no idea. What? Oh, come on, you can't do that. This is tabs. You put on the right, I put on the left. I was looking for, like, an ambush over here in the bush or something. Oh, man, they have more coming in? No, that's me. Never mind. Actually, we're doing pretty good. I thought that whole team was the enemy. Oh, God. I got to remember, we are red. Um, well, we don't have much offense left, but we got a lot of defensive units. Come on, spear throwers. And... Oh, you missed! You freaking missed, dude! Oh, you're so dead. Okay. Well, actually, this is close. Dude, get up! Get up! Ah, damn it! I always like it when it's down the one. All right. We're going to put one bone mage there, and I'm just going to have a club war down here. Dude, I... I can't believe I didn't see those guys. <laughs> they're, they're literally in the open. But you don't really think about looking on your side. So I'm just going for strength and numbers right now. This is going to be an absolute war. So here we go. Get ready. That actually did pretty good. The Bone Mage got a lot of them. And the Clubmen, they live in the woods, man. So they should be at the upper hand here. Uh, we are going to lose a lot of people. But we have a lot of people anyways. Come on, Clubmen. Don't kill yourselves. That's what I have to worry about. These guys will whack each other. Actually, I don't, I don't think the Clubmen are doing very well. We got lots of Squires over there. 
And the Clubman can't even take down one of these guys. Okay, armor is way more useful than I expected. God damn it. Oh my god, why am I having such a hard time? I'll just do a protector. Why not? Okay, so I'm hoping these guys should be able to grab these guys with relative ease. Problem is, there's a lot more units than I expected back here. Oh yeah, throw them around. Throw them around. Protector, do your best, but you're dead. Okay, how are we doing in the front lines at least? The Romans have indeed won this fight. We gotta get these Minotaurs to hold out, though. Oh, man, you gotta, you're you getting stuck in the woods, man. There's a lot coming in. Oh, man, that guy... Did the other one already died? Okay, this this is actually really difficult when there's two teams and one's behind you. You really gotta think about this. That was a complete failure, so we're just gonna reset it. Squires don't have shields. Again, archers are extremely powerful, so I'm thinking we're just gonna actually just do a crazy amount of archers and hope that this works. I've always wanted to have an archer war anyways. Yes, look at that. We've already took out the majority of these guys. They get close though, we are screwed. We need to spread out these shots. So I'm thinking actually a mixture of archers and something else will probably be what we need to do. Uh, but as you can see, these guys are doing really good at taking these guys down. We still have a lot left obviously, but I think we need to keep these guys at bay. So it just comes down to archers being totally pointless at close range. I didn't even notice we got some guys coming up from down there too. So we're gonna put a wheelbarrow in the front. We'll get a team of archers that is probably, oh, I didn't realize I didn't get rid of these guys. Um, a team of archers that is actually probably best kind of over here because the majority of the enemy is gonna come from the other way. So something like that should be good. Let's actually drop that down a little bit though. We definitely don't need that many archers. And in the back, I'm gonna do a bunch of headbutters because, well, we haven't seen many headbutters yet. Okay, I'm not crazy. Once again, that guy looks much smaller than the rest. I like that though, that each unit has its own unique size. 60 left, we'll throw a good halfling in there for measure. Uh, all right, so hopefully wheelbarrows should do their job. Archers, don't fall off the map. God damn it, archers. God damn it, archers. Okay, the other archer has arrows. I swear he had an arrow inside of him. But yes, okay, we're doing okay, it feels like. Wheelbarrow, I don't know how it came all the way back here, but it did. This ain't good, man. This ain't good. No! Oh my god, this is such a hard fight. And yeah, we're totally screwed. Okay, please tell me. There we go. I also got some potion makers. I don't know if I mentioned that. We put a few of those on at least because these guys tend to bunch up as you can see. Oh, please tell me. Come on, potion makers. Let's go over. What are you doing? Turn around. How are you guys confused? I guess they, they do get hit in the line of fire. There we go. That's right. Just like you're cutting down a field, except the field of freaking humans. Come on, baby. Yes. Man, the harvester, every time I try and use this unit, it, it is very reliable. Except, what is going on down here? You guys, oh my god, she's stuck in the fence. This unit is rendered pointless because the scythe got stuck in the fence. Oh, uh, thankfully, as you can see, not much left anyways. Ah, the old mammoth migration through the, uh, the Roman village. That's accurate. Okay, well... I know what does really well here, and that is catapult. So we're gonna do that first. Actually, ballista might do well against mammoths. So let's let's actually do ballistas. That sounds a little more fun, anyways. Again, if we could tell units to hold out, I would just chill on the roofs and basically win this. But that's not going to work that way. So I'm thinking actually catapults over here might actually be smart. Um, I'm hoping the mammoths will stay in the middle though. And to hope that actually happens, let's put a bard here that will hopefully run in the direction of the ballista. I'll just put archers on the roof and hope they stay there. They never end, end up doing that, but in, you know, we can dream. And there we go. So we're nice and spread out at least. Hopefully that's enough to get these guys down. Did that ballista hit them? I really hope that ballista hit them because this is gonna be bad if that's not the case. There we go. Ballista in the butt as well as a catapult. That is great. And look at this. These guys are trying to get over here. This catapult, loving life right now. Are you, are you dead? Please tell me you're not dead. Yes, there we go. Missed his shot, but as long as we got people alive over here, we are good. Look, look, at, look at this freaking archer. Oh God, yes, another catapult. Oh, this is actually working really well. There we go. Victory, hell yeah. All right, and I think on that, guys, we're gonna wrap up this one here. Obviously, we're ending off on a pretty interesting one. Good old tower defense. Look at the freaking guy hanging. 
Oh my god, I love it. But yes, there's a lot more levels to still do in this campaign, so we're definitely not going to get to the end today. Probably a couple more episodes, actually, on this one campaign. How far can we zoom out? That's as far as we can. Now we know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Once again, going through the campaign and doing a viewer-selected battle. Keep the battles coming, by the way. Like I said in the last episodes, I'm collecting them all. We're just doing one right now, but once the campaigns are done, we'll be focusing on some of your favorite battles and doing them as well. So thank you guys so much for all your support. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.